Hi, Matt here, Filmmaking Information Channel. Uh, this isn't about filmmaking, it's about live production. However, this first product from the Blackmagic live stream conference, which was maybe 45 minutes ago now, was the Hyperdeck Shuttle, not Shuttle, Hyperdeck Studio Mini. Uh, if you're into live production in any way, switching, um, well, you know what live production is, right? Then the ATEM systems, which there's one there, one there, I, I use these things quite a bit, um, you will be aware of them. And Blackmagic have been pretty good at sending constant updates through the, the pipeline. And, I don't know, was it last NAB? Well, probably, I'm sure you'll correct me if I'm wrong. They released a software update to all ATEMs, which meant that as well as switching between the cameras, you could use the Hyperdeck Studio SSD recorders as play media playback or recorders on these ATEM switches. What that meant is you could load them up with VT or or ISO record from or program record from a mixer straight back down to a unit. Um, kind of like the video assist does in terms of but without having to press you know switch to the camera, press the play button. Anyway. I was on eBay today looking for in fact there was one that came up and i missed it the hyperdeck studio uh, it was a bit battered and it went for 500 pounds which is uh in dollars um, i don't know today probably 650 um and i didn't win it somebody else won it i've never been more glad Blackmagic today announced the hyperdeck studio mini which is the same thing but a lot shorter we'll put a picture of the old one up and a picture of the new one, and we'll see if we can lay them over. Uh, you'll see the difference in size. The most obvious thing is they've taken out the two SSD bays and put in two SD card bays. Um, I've got to be honest, right now, the cost of SSDs versus the SD cards that are actually compatible with things like the Pocket Cinema camera and the Video Assist, and there's not much in it. But um, SD cards are cool. Uh, they... They, I can fit loads of them in there. SSDs, they kind of fill out everywhere. So I'll go I'll go with that. Um, what else have they done? It does exactly the same as the previous version, which is to say it can be used as a media player, but it's tiny. It can be used as a recorder, much like it could the video assist could be. Um, it could also be used, because of its small size, be used for ISO recording every single input on a switcher, whether it be the new TV studio or any of the existing switches as well. That is a really cool feature, all onto SD cards. It also, I've mentioned it before, but the, the Blackmagic Lover Power Block. Uh, this one also has power built into it. The coolest feature on it that the previous version didn't have is, well, if you wanted to put video or media onto the previous version, you had to, yeah, you had to take the drive out, drop it into a dock, stick it into your computer, and load that thing up. Now, that's gone. You can FTP directly to the unit. So the SD cards can become a permanent fixture. FTP works, it's probably worked for most of you, works for me well. Um, so the SD cards can stay in the unit if you want to upload to it, just FTP to the thing. That's brilliant. You'll already be on the network if you're using the the uh, the, the units in a live switching environment because you've got your computer there. Just send that stuff up by FTP. Brilliant. Do let me know how you're going to use that because I've got a number of interesting uh, things which I think will really help and work in a way that Casper would do using compressor on a Mac and watch folders and stuff. Any, anyway, I digress. Um, it also is a lot cheaper. It's now $695.00. US making it around, well, by the time it comes out in pounds, probably 600 pounds. So pretty well what I saw a used Hyperdeck Studio go for today on eBay. So that is Blackmagic Design Hyperdeck Studio Mini. Uh, that concludes my rapid fire rambling updates for this evening. Uh, I think 